All right, y'all, welcome back to Clement Arms Channel. Okay, so today we're checking out a play carrier from RTS Tactical. Now, I was super excited to check this thing out. I talked with Diego and Jordan over at RTS Tactical, and I could tell they were passionate about the gear, passionate about the advancement that they, that they were making for this particular play carrier. Like, their lineup already is solid, but seeing how passionate they are to advance their gear and make it better and better it is really, really encouraging stuff. And of course, once I actually got it, like, this is a beautiful play carrier. I will say that, like the, the build quality, the features, again, like a lot of thought and effort went into it. And of course it is, if you guys didn't know, it is made in the US, which makes it that much better. Uh, it, it's kind of cool to be able to support those US based businesses. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing a, a little overview. You guys already know, I've checked out a lot of play carriers on the channel. I've used dozens of play carriers during my time in the in the Marine Corps, in the Army, and also just as an airsofter and also just as like a hobby shooter. So I've used a lot of different play carriers. I kind of know like what features I tend to prefer, what features can be kind of annoying as far as like maybe some things like some, some comfort drawbacks or also some features that are just really nice to have with certain play carriers. But yeah, I've spent a little bit of time with this play carrier to kind of understand that yeah, it's it's definitely well thought out. Now I do like how they chose like an interesting name for this particular play carrier. It's the OPSEC play carrier, which if y'all are in the military, you know what OPSEC is. It's like the weird purple dragon stuff or the, the annual training you have to do all the time. Uh, you know, annual training you have to do. But yeah, uh, OPSEC is definitely not a mystery, definitely not an unknown thing to people in the military. Outside of the military, I'm not too sure how much that particular term is used, but it basically it stands for operation security. So basically uh, not divulging any information to the adversary kind of stuff, just so you can kind of maintain the sanctity of your particular operation, which kind of goes alongside with this particular plate carrier. Obviously, if you have gear that kind of supports you and that can protect you, you can kind of guarantee that operation is going to go a little bit better. Uh, so you're not necessarily like fighting your gear just to get things done. But with that being said, again, it is a very well thought out play carrier, not just talking about the name itself. Um, and we're going to be going over some of those things. So we're going to go over the build quality, like the overall build quality as far as the materials, the stitching and everything. We're going to go into the comfort and fit. And then we're going to start talking about some of the features that we actually have with this particular play carrier. And yeah, there's there's definitely a lot. Um, so we'll yeah, let's just go ahead and get right into it. Now, comfort is a, a huge thing when it comes to a play carrier. That is like literally the bread and butter of your loadouts because you're going to be attaching a bunch of stuff to it. It's going to facilitate your comms equipment. It's going to facilitate your ammunition. Yeah, you know, a bunch of other stuff, hydration, any other equipment you might have on the back of your play carrier. So it needs to be comfortable. It needs to be balanced. It needs to work for you and not have any of these weird kind of locations or weird things that are just chafing you or bugging you because then it's going to be very, very miserable, especially when you start putting stuff on it. You can see here, this is still pretty slick. All I have is like some magazine pouches. Um, but once you start adding stuff, if there's like any like hot spots or any chafing spots, those are going to get amplified when you start putting weights or stuff that'll kind of make it shift a little bit more than it normally would. So it's very important that the, the comfort is definitely there. Now, as far as build quality, there's really not a whole lot I can say. Like it's just made out of really quality materials. It's got Cordura, but for the most part, the, the important thing and the thing that really kind of shines is how everything is cut, how everything is stitched. Like there's a lot of attention to detail going into this play carrier. So sort of starting at the top, you have the shoulder pads. Again, you can take these off like with most shoulder pads, um, but these are solid material. Like the padding, I can tell the padding is, is pretty well thought out. Like that is some comfortable padding. So I'm not exactly sure if it's like a proprietary thing that they have on the inside, but regardless, it's very well uh, placed. You can kind of see it's got uh, ventilation where the shoulder pads actually are, like kind of like that, that mesh. So, you know, wherever you have padding, you also have ventilation, which is nice. So you're not getting like super, super hot or what have you. But like, again, the, the transitions between the like normal Cordura and the actual like mesh areas is just really, really clean. Like the stitching is solid. There's nothing that like pokes out or looks kind of weird. So that looks great. And again, you have like all these laser, it's probably like laser cut or maybe stance, but all these like sort of molly cuts are really, really clean. Like there's really no defects or errors I can see with any of that. Again, all the cuts 
are solid. There's not anything that's like particularly too jagged or kind of like, you know, scratchy or, or kind of weird. The plastic on the clips are solid. The zipper again is fantastic. Even the zipper pull is like very high quality. It's not like something that's just gonna get pulled off the zipper or like it's not just like a knot that'll come undone or what have you. That is a solid zipper pull right there. Um, you got the Velcro, the Velcro again, I mean, it is what it is, hook and loop, whatever you wanna call it. And it's multicam, which kind of cool. Again, it's just like an extra little touch to be able to have like that multicam Velcro as opposed to, you know, just like a, a coyote or what have you. Now moving more towards the plate bag and the cummerbund, you have your tubes here, pretty standard tubes. Again, good stitching, so that's not gonna be going anywhere. You have your inner strap here. This is like the actual patented uh, multicam webbing kind of strap. Again, solid material. The clips, really not a whole lot you can say about that. Those aren't gonna be going anywhere. The cummerbund though, again, like, all of this molly is just cut so cleanly, so precisely. Sometimes you get some really low quality pals or molly where it's like different lengths in the actual like webbing itself, which makes it kind of a pain in the butt to get like some stuff molly through, you know, maybe like the sides or maybe, maybe the back. But you can see a lot of attention detail, a lot of precision going into this. It's all very uniform. So no, issue, no issues with that as far as getting things on. Now on the inside, you also have Molly. This is probably gonna be for your, your plate bags or maybe even like comm setups if you wanna rock those on the inside. I've seen that before. But yeah, the cummerbund, very, very high quality. Nothing really to say about that, to be honest. Now how the cummerbund works, you can kind of see, I kind of pulled it through the, the back a little bit, but you have this bungee, so you get a little bit of an elasticity. And again, no issues with that. It's all protected by this panel here, so really, no issues with this coming undone or, or anything crazy happening with the cummerbund. Now, as far as the carry handle, this is interesting. So it's got your standard Velcro or hook and loop carry handle, but it's got some extra length here, which is kind of nice because it gives you a little bit more leverage, a little bit more purchase, and it's a little bit easier to grab, especially, you know, sometimes if somebody has a backpack or what have you, and you just have the standard like handle that's just like right there, it's kind of hard to get leverage or it's kind of hard to get into that. So with this, having that extra length it's pretty nice to just, you know, grab it, pull them up, and then, you know, get them off of the X or what have you. So yeah, pretty interesting design feature right there. Now again, going onto the inside, you can see you have all of this mesh here. Again, the padding is just so comfortable. And I kind of like how you have this channel here because it allows like some of that heat, like some of the really hot spots, like when you take off your, your body armor, you always have like a line of sweat in the middle of your back because you know, that's kind of like how the, the muscles form and whatnot. So for having this channel allows a little bit more airflow, which is nice. And again, like all this is, is mesh. It's like pretty well padded. So this is a, a very comfortable setup. And again, it's just super high quality. The transition between the actual mesh and the Cordura parts are just really, really clean. So I really like how they did the inside. And again, it's pretty much the same for the uh, for the front bag right there. So yeah, really, really solid, really clean. Now, another awesome addition. So if you're not trying to rock a, a placard, it comes with this really, really slick panel. So as opposed to having a placard and just attaching it to the hook and loop here, you have this panel which has the hook and loop on the back. So you can just affix it there. Again, it's all very precisely cut. So it's very, very clean. You got six rows so you can mount, you know, plenty of stuff. And then you could just attach these clips here. And again, these are sort of like quick release clips. You can just remove these if you don't want them on the actual plate carrier, or you can just leave them on in case you want to throw on like a, a placard or something later on. But yeah, having that as an option is really solid. And again, it's just very, very solid build quality as well. Like really nothing to complain about. No loose stitching, nothing that looks questionable as far as like the, the durability or longevity. So as far as the quality overall, everything is pretty freaking fantastic. All right, now going into the comforts and the fit. So I'm gonna kind of go over the pros and cons um, because I've used it a bit and I found some things that I like, some things I don't like too much. So I'm just gonna start from the top and kind of go down. So the shoulder pads, very comfortable, very padded. Um, however, they are a little bit too wide. I would generally prefer them to be a little bit slimmer. And the reason for that is when it's a little bit wider, it's not necessarily, once you have plates in, it's not really getting in the way of you shouldering the weapon or anything. However, it is like kind of wide. So whenever you start like doing anything as far as like lifting your shoulders or maybe doing any movements like this, sometimes it'll start rubbing a little bit too much. So again, shouldering the rifle is fine, especially once you have plates in, it kind of keeps it pretty well in the pocket of your shoulder. However, I can kind of feel that shoulder pad kind of 
you know, creeping up on my neck a little bit more than I would like it to. And sometimes it prevents me from getting a solid cheek weld. But for the most part, it's really not a big deal. It's just com combination of the clip here. You can't really see the clip. I'll show that a little bit later. But a combination of the clip and the shoulder pad being a little bit too wide kind of prevents me because I'm, I'm pushing against my neck and it's kind of preventing the stock from getting a little bit further in. For the most part, it's not really a big deal. With pistols, I've noticed it the most just because, again, like I try and keep the plate carrier relatively tight on my body so we can kind of support my lower back and everything. But sometimes when I aim with the pistol, like with a normal isosceles stance, I can feel like almost, not necessarily that I'm getting choked out or anything, but I can feel it kind of on the side of my neck. And unless I'm doing this a bunch, I'm not gonna get like any chafing or anything, so it's not that big of a deal. But I didn't get it. it is something that I feel, kind of something that I'm trying to fight a little bit, but for the most part, I don't really notice it. It's just, if you do some repeated movements, then you can sort of start feeling it a little bit more. Not big deal, kind of like a little bit of a pet peeve as far as just me when it comes to plate carriers and just stuff chafing my neck because yeah, I've got like a, I've got like PTSD just from plate carriers chafing my traps and my neck the wrong way. But again, the padding is just like fantastic and the ventilation is good. Again, I have like these lights on and whatnot and I'm still not feeling any hot spots wearing this plate carrier, which is pretty good. Like with the Army's IOTV, again, it's always the example of what not to do for a, a plate carrier or any sort of body armor system. But that thing just retains the most heat. So with this, again, it's it's nice. It's like a, a breath of fresh air, kind of pun intended, I guess. But yeah, it is nice to have that ventilation so I'm not just feeling all these hot spots. I'm not like creating this freaking occlusive dressing on my body that's just making me super miserable like all right here. Now again, with the cummerbund, since we do have that sort of uh, that bungee in the back, you do have a little bit of elasticity. So if I'm you know doing certain movements, it has a little bit of flex and give so I'm not like kind of pushing against just like a really rigid cummerbund. Kind of see if I can show this a little bit. But yeah, if I'm like trying to do anything like this, it has enough room to give. So I'm not just like trying to fight my plate carrier or anything. So yeah, I kind of like that. It's nice to have some elasticity in the cummerbund. Now staying on the topic of the cummerbund, I think it is a little thick. Like it's, it's just kind of tall. Um, so. It does retain a little bit more heat on the side. Again, it does accept those side plates, which are nice. And you, I'm sure you can get like, you know, soft armor inserts. That'll be a little bit better when it, when it comes to like the, the bigger or taller cummerbunds. But again, just in general, like even when I'm trying to do stuff like this, I can feel it's like kind of like pinching my, my uh, muffin top, I guess, if you will. It's pinching me a little bit. And it's for the most part, it's not like a big deal. Like I can do this fine, even with the belt and it's not doing anything too much. But once you really start like getting into it, then you can kind of feel it a bit. In the top, it's not as noticeable for whatever reason. Even if you have like pretty big lats, I mean, my lats aren't really like crazy big, but like even with like lats, I'm not really noticing it too much. Again, it does have that like elasticity. So it does have a little bit of give. It's not necessarily just trying to push up on that. So it is something that I noticed. It, w it is something that, again, kind of, I'm not a huge fan of just because it retains a little bit more heat and I tend to prefer like some of the minimalistic or like skeletonized cummerbunds, I guess you can call it. Um, just cause it, it allows a little bit more airflow and you don't necessarily need like a whole lot of, uh, I guess rigidity, if that's a word, rigidity on the actual side itself. Cause yeah, it's just for putting side plates and maybe like a radio. So yeah, it's generally not going to be like too flabby even with the skeletonized one so yeah i mean it works fine I, there's really not a whole lot i can say again with that with that elasticity and that give it's fine it's just a really really small thing and that's pretty much what i'm finding with the play carrier it's just really really small things that are more of my preferences and not necessarily anything that's bad now we did talk about these clips before again you guys can kind of see right under this where it's got like the the cuts and whatnot you have a clip and you can just undo that whenever you're like, you know, trying to take it off, donning or doffing or what have you. Um, and you could also use that to take off the actual shoulder pads if you don't want them on. They just slide on and off. But yeah, you do have the clip there. It is a pretty uh, chunky. I keep wanting to say thick just so I can keep putting like the, the text up on the video. But yeah, they are pretty chunky clips. Um, so sometimes I do feel them because 
you do have this kind of cover here, which, you know, it works cool. I mean, it reduces some of the shine. It kind of provides a little bit more texture if you do end up shouldering a little bit on the clips. But sometimes these clips will shift a little bit to the side and I'll start to feel it kind of like poking out. And when I'm trying to shoulder, it'll push past the actual um, shoulder strap here and kind of dig into my body a little bit. It rarely happens um, and I've just mostly done like a few shooting drills with it, nothing too crazy, but it's happened maybe like three times where I kind of like noticed it, but that's just because it kind of just ended up getting rolled because I was like pushing the, the rifle forward too much or something, but that's not really a big deal, but they are kind of big. Um, so if you are shouldering a certain weapon or if you tend to shoulder your weapon a certain way and it's not necessarily in the pocket of your shoulder, then you might be hitting that clip and it might kind of be, you know, bouncing off or, or what have you whenever you actually start hitting that recoil but for the most part the clips really aren't too big of a deal i just tend to not like clips on you know the the shoulders at all just because again they are a little bit thicker they add a little bit of mass um, they're a little bit more uncomfortable it's kind of harder to you know not feel those clips even with padding and again sometimes it will just prevent you from shouldering the weapon like as you're used to now the shoulder pads themselves they are good if you get them uh, like pretty tight on there but if you don't get them too tight then they have a habit of doing this because underneath it you have this strap which you know you can rock just the strap it's probably not going to be too comfortable and your traps are just going to get like rock solid and just have like knots in them um, but again if you keep them nice and tight the shoulder pads they're not too bad um, but they do have a tendency to roll a little bit um, and I think that's just because they're a little bit wider than they could be because again, this, I don't know, this strap is maybe like an inch and a half and you have uh, probably like three inches for the actual shoulder pad itself. So I think if they just made these shoulder pads narrow in general, a little bit more narrow, like maybe two inches wide, it would be a lot better um, and you wouldn't have as much kind of role play there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're into that stuff, I guess. But again, if you keep them tight, then you can pretty much negate that issue entirely. Now, something I'm just not a fan of at all, um, and this goes with any plate carrier, is like the inner strap. It's it's good for certain things. I know I've used it um, for like PT. If I just like want to take off the cummerbund and not have anything attached to it, it's good to have this because, I mean, again, you don't really need that, that rigidity. You don't really need to mount a whole lot on the cummerbund itself. And it's nice because you can just adjust the the tightness um, but i tend to not use this ever if i have an actual cummerbund um, so it's a nice option i know with the marine corps play carrier we did have this strap as well i don't know if it was removable or not um, but for the most part like we just used the cummerbund because that's kind of what the commando is wanting us to do we had to use cummerbund because we always needed like the the side sappy plates um, but again, it is nice to be able to rock these individually. Now, I'm not sure if the inner strap on the Marine Corps plate carrier was removable, um, but I know we did like to just rock the inner strap by itself, mostly for PT when we didn't really need to mount anything on the cummerbund or we didn't really need the cummerbund. Um, but again, it is nice to be able to remove the, the strap or remove anything if you're not planning on using it. And that kind of goes back to my infantry brain where, you know, if I'm not using it or if I don't intend to use it, I would prefer for it to just not be there. So if this was removable, that would be awesome. You do have like the the loop here. That's, uh, you know, the, the clip is actually attached to, but the clip itself doesn't have like that notch, that cutout notch to be able to actually remove the clip. So it's kind of just stuck there because that's actually sewed on. Uh, and again, I don't really like using it. So what you can do is just either leave this out and it kind of just does that. Um, or just fold it in and again, you kind of just end up feeling the clip and I, yeah, I'm just not a big fan of that um, I definitely prefer to just have an adjustable cummerbund having the elasticity is nice because it's not necessarily like You know that constricting but it is nice to be able to have an adjustable cummerbund if you need to put on like You know more layers because it's colder less layers because it's hotter um, And not necessarily just have this to keep the plate bags a little bit tighter on your body um, yeah, so just having an adjustable cummerbund would be nice. I'm not sure what the sizes are going to look like for the cummerbund itself, but I think that would be a, a good kind of solution to 
to this because again, I don't really use this. I don't prefer to use it. But yeah, basically I think I would just prefer if it was removable. It is nice for it to be there if you do want to rock it like that and maybe, you know, not rock the cummerbunds because you're just not really using the cummerbund for anything. That's cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to use it. So I, you know, I don't want it there <laughs> basically. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's basically it as far as like the actual comfort aspect. Uh, overall, it's very comfortable. The padding is great. The ventilation is fantastic. Just some weird things here and there as far as like some things kind of moving around in certain positions. But that's like, a, again, very kind of rare situations uh, if you're doing like more dynamic kind of stuff or maybe like some CQB kind of oriented stuff. But there's nothing that's like really cutting you. There's no like sharp edges. There's no, there's no like sharp corners that are like poking your neck or anything. Um, you can see, although the flap does kind of fold over itself, I, I generally I prefer if it folded like halfway. Um, so you don't have like a flap kind of folding towards you like this because there is the off chance that, you know, you fold it too much and maybe these corners might start poking your neck a little bit. Um, but if they fold like halfway, then you know, that, that those edges are in the middle and it's pretty much not likely at all to be rubbing your neck. Um, so it's just small things like that. Not really a big deal when it comes to the overall performance and function and comfort, but small things here and there where I know if I use it in certain situations, it might get a little bit annoying, especially once you start getting like, you know, a rifle there and you're like pushing all this stuff around, you have a sling that just tends to grab like all the worst and most uncomfortable parts of your plate carrier and just in combination starts rubbing your neck like the, the worst ways possible. And that might sound dramatic. Now that might sound dramatic. Now that might sound dramatic, but again, like when you have a sling, it just takes everything that could be uncomfortable and just pulls it right here for whatever reason. Okay, now going over the features, we've kind of touched on all of them a little bit, um, but yeah, you have a kangaroo pouch, which I'm a big fan of having a kangaroo pouch or an admin pouch. And this one's pretty, it's pretty deep. I mean, I got pretty freaking, so we're like right, right around here. I got, I mean, Man, I didn't realize how freaking massive my hands are. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a big admin pouch, which is great if you need to put like maps or whatnot. As a leader, that's just super, super convenient to have like pens, like map pens, maybe even like a, a protractor, like all your navigation stuff, maps or planning, you can kind of keep there. It's very easily accessible. And yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's something that I definitely prefer to have. If you don't have something like this, you just need like an admin pouch or maybe like a dangler pouch. So it's just nice when it's actually built in because I mean, it's too easy. This is like free real estate right there. Again, you got your hook and loop. So if you wanna attach patches, kind of like I did here, you can do that. It still has the molly. And again, you do have the actual cuts to accept placards. So you can either use these clips or you can get a placard that has G hooks and just attach it to these cuts as well. Works totally fine, I haven't had any issues. I tried putting a few placards on here and I mean, yeah, they, they work well. It's a placard, it's supposed to be pretty versatile. And again, the tubes themselves, again, you just affix it. And then, yeah, the tubes are great, I gotta say. They're just, it, it, they're an awesome option for play carriers. So when they just come with them or can accept it, it just, yeah, it, it's kind of like one of those things that might be a standard here in the near future. We're probably just gonna start seeing all the plate gears having something like this. And again, for that cummerbund, you have plenty of Molly sort of cuts or palace cuts to work with. And on the inside, you have that as well. If you want to have like some ballistic side inserts or, or what have you, you can attach those there. Um, or, or again, I've seen radios be mounted sort of on the inside of the cummerbund because people just tend to prefer it. It kind of keeps it, I don't know. I, I've seen it. I'm not a fan of it because I've had like 154 radios that just get like insanely hot. I don't know why they just, they probably shouldn't get that hot, but they just do for whatever reason. And it's just the worst. Once you just feel that against your skin or even like your, your combat shirt. Yeah. Not a fan of that at all. And again, on the back, you have your carry handle or your, your pull handle. Um, again, works pretty great. No issues there. Now, as far as actually putting some plates in this thing, it's pretty standard, but I gotta say, it secures pretty freaking well. So right now, I just have some, sorry for that sound, it's like the worst sound known to man. But I do have some, some foam plate inserts here just to give it some rigidity. Um, but yeah, these are not really heavy or ballistic whatsoever. So yeah, just foam. But yeah, so you can kind of see on the inside, you have this flap 
which you can actually take out. Now both ends have that hook and loop. So if you want, you can just take this out, put it a little bit higher in the actual plate bag. If you have like smaller plates or you know, what have you, if you just want to have like a tighter fit or whatever, it's nice to have that adjustability to be able to, again, kind of just keep your plate where you want it to be, keep it higher, maybe keep it a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, that's pretty nice. And then, yeah, you do have a little bit of a divider here. Again, keeps the place, the, the plate itself nice and snug. It's not gonna shift around or anything. Right, that plate goes right back inside. And again, just fold this over. Secure that and then close it up. And that's pretty much it as far as the, the features go for the plate carrier. It's very, very well thought out. And again, like the build qual quality is just like really shocking. When you look at everything, if you really tried looking at something, like there's, there's like not even any loose threads, which like sometimes I'll get some gear and you know, you get it and there's just loose threads all over the place and you're like, well, that's not very reassuring because it seems like it's just gonna like unwind itself and just kind of fall apart, which sometimes it does. But with this one, none of that. Again, the, the build quality is fantastic. Very comfortable, just very, very minor things here and there that don't really affect the overall quality, comfort, or really anything that kind of affects the appeal of the play curry itself. Now I do have some shooting clips, so I'll kind of post them periodically throughout the video so you guys can see how I'm actually using the play carrier on the range. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited uh, for RTS Tactical to see that they're so passionate about this gear and putting so much attention to detail and just so much effort into just the, the quality. The quality alone is just like, it blows my mind. But again, it's, it's well thought out. It's got all the features you would, you would really need of, of a plate carrier as far as being able to you know, mount what you need and, and make it relatively comfortable so it fits with you, works with you and it's not gonna to be too much of a pain in the butt trying to get anything to work with this particular play carrier. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. I gotta say, RTS Tactical doing some fantastic stuff. Again, I'm excited for the future to see what they're developing because this is, you know, play carrier advancements. They have a few other play carriers you can check out on their website. I will put the website down in the video description for this particular product so you guys can go and check it out. But yeah, they're doing some great stuff. And again, made in the US, which is uh, always nice to see. It's always cool to support some, some US companies. But let me know if you guys have any particular questions on maybe certain aspects of the play carrier. You can throw them down below and I'll try and answer them as quick as possible if you are trying to, to pick up the play carrier itself. But yeah, I would say uh, definitely, definitely go and check it out. I mean, I have plenty of other play carriers. This one is probably most comparable to my Agilite play carrier, the, the K0. As far as like the build quality, they're both very, very solid. The comfort, the ventilation, both very solid. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, it's just, it's so cool to be seeing companies just, I don't know, advance their gear like so quickly. I, you know, I've been following RTS Tactical for a little bit and for them to just, you know, kind of surprise us with something like this, it's just really, really cool and just super encouraging for like the tactical gear market, I guess. Um, so there's plenty of good options out there. And I would say if you're looking for a play carrier, you should definitely check out this one. But of course, let me know what you guys think about the video in general. If there's anything you'd like me to change, make better, um, any more like shooting videos or clips I can add to it, let me know if you'd like to see that. If you want me to like use this in a specific scenario, I can do that as well. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not sensitive. So whatever recommendations you guys have, throw them down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long because um, sometimes I can kind of run my mouth because I'm just really passionate and I get really excited when it comes to, to solid quality tactical gear. But yeah, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.